Yeah, well, you would have heard plenty today about AUKUS. We don't need to explain it all over again, but here's a little bit of what Albo had to say earlier today when he announced the deal for our new submarines. Today, a new chapter in the relationship between our nation, the United States and the United Kingdom begins. A friendship built on our shared values, our commitment to democracy and our common vision for a peaceful and a prosperous future. So the first submarine to be built in Adelaide will be delivered in 2042. They're saying the cost of this thing could be between $268 billion to $368 billion. We don't really know. It's a bit of an Ball estimate, part. but we're just going to do it anyway. Here's a bit of what Dutton had to say about that. Uh, we have to make sure uh, that there is transparency and honesty with the Australian people about the cost involved in AUKUS. Uh, it's not credible for the government to say that there's no net impact, even over the forward estimates. We can't allow Labor to cannibalise the Defence Force to pay for AUKUS. It's not an either-or option. Now, it's a fair point. It's a lot of money, but ultimately, it's money that we need to spend to ensure the security of our nation, particularly with a rising China. Perhaps not over at the ABC, though. On my drive into the studio today, they gave no less than five minutes of airtime to quote-unquote pacifists who believe that us building these submarines is going to cause the war with China. Take a listen to this garbage. That's a, a just a really huge mistake to think that we, we build peace through arming up. The best way for us to be secure is to have good relations with our neighbours. And what is being proposed now is more likely to result in a war. Well, boys and girls, the problem is solved. We do not need the subs. We just need to cosy up and be very friendly Aww. with China and then they won't well, come and It would us. be so much cheaper. I mean, seriously. Why did the ABC even think that was a point of view worth airing as though it was sensible? I mean, they're basically <laughs> saying, yeah, 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 that's all fine. When China comes, let's just lay down and let them do it. I mean, they may as well be CCP shills. They are literally running the China line. Well, <laughs> it seems to be what the government's on board with, though, because that is the game that they've been playing for years. And now, news of this broke today. The New South Wales government, they've just decided that plans for Sydney Water to part privatise their new plant, it's all well and good to let a very closely CCP-linked company run the joint. Now, of course, they will say, yeah, yeah, but we haven't sold it off or anything. That's like saying, as Chris O'Keefe said today on 2GB, that's like saying, look, they don't own the bus, but all the bus drivers <laughs> are CCP members. I mean, do me a favour. This seems to be... The amount of soft power China is being openly granted in this nation. How many times do we have to blow the whistle on our own governments? I mean, it was just two minutes ago we were talking about the fact that we had Chinese cameras in some of our most <laughs> esteemed halls of power, including the Department of Defence. It's, it's absolutely Chinese so cameras, ridiculous. Chinese spyware, Chinese water. Yeah, just at this America. rate, they, they wouldn't want to blow us up. When, when <laughs> they, they've already taken over. They'd be like, we'd blow up too too many assets. But with that in mind, is it any surprise that we've got people on ABC radio saying, what's the big deal? There's no real threat. And even the way Anthony Albanese has sold this sub deal, I mean, he's talked more about the fact that it will create 20,000 jobs. Now, I'm not sure how 20,000 jobs at a price of, what, $300, $400 billion is a good investment, but Albanese's talked more about economic opportunities than he has about the fact that there is a grave threat. Mm. And when Labor start arming up, you know it's a threat. <laughs> But can you really blame people for discounting the threat? Because Labor aren't really talking about that. They're more talking about this as an investment opportunity. I know, I know. And, and it is a real threat. As Jim Molan told us before he sadly passed away recently, you know, within the next three or four years, we could potentially be looking at China invading Taiwan. And that is a situation that, like it or not, we and the rest of the West will end up involved in because there is so much on the line if we allow China to get the idea that they can just ride roughshod mm. over whoever they want. But every time I think of submarines, my mind just goes to this clip from Q&A in 2015, the former DLP senator now sadly passed away. John Madigan, he put 
the words together to describe exactly what a submarine is. You can have the last word, John. We built the Collins class submarine. Submarines are the spaceships of the ocean. <laughs> Let's start building those spaceships. Can't wait for that, our spaceships of the ocean. So well put.